Welcome to another SalesInc.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the 2021 changes, the relevant definitions, and we'll use animated scenarios with questions and answers. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rule 18, Markroom, is a complex rule, so we're covering it in three separate videos. Previous videos covered rules 18.1 and 18.2. This video discusses rules 18.3 and 18.4 regarding passing head to wind in the zone and jiving at a mark. Here's rule 18.3. Take a moment to read it. This rule used to be titled Tacking in the Zone, but in 2021 the title was changed to Passing Head to Wind in the Zone to better reflect the language in the rule. There is no difference in meaning or application. This rule is designed to prevent chaos from boats coming in on port tack at the windward mark. Let's break it down. The first part tells us when this rule applies. It applies when a boat in the zone of a mark to be left to port passes head to wind from port to starboard tack and then is fetching the mark. The diagram shows an example of when rule 18.3 applies. Note that the rule applies to both blue and green since they both passed head to wind inside the zone. The next parts give the requirements. First, the boat that tacked shall not cause a boat that has been on starboard tack since entering the zone to sail above close hauled to avoid contact. So in the diagram, blue can't cause yellow to sail above close hauled. Next, the boat that tacked shall give mark room if that boat becomes overlapped inside her. This applies to green in the diagram. Green must give mark room to yellow. The last part says that when this rule applies between boats, rule 18.2 does not apply. This means that when you tack from port to starboard in the zone, boats that were on starboard since entering the zone don't have to give you room, even if you were overlapped when you entered the zone. We've covered most of the definitions of the rule previously. Fetching is the new definition. Take a moment to read it. Let's see how you did. Which boats are fetching the mark? Blue and yellow are fetching. They can pass to windward of the mark without tacking. Green must tack to pass the mark on the required side. Here's another question. Does rule 18.3 apply to red in this situation? The answer is no. Red tacked from starboard to port in the zone, but she is not fetching the mark. So rule 18.3 does not apply. Let's take a look at some examples to apply Rule 18.3. Here's the first one. Yellow and blue are inside the zone, sailing to the windward mark. Blue tacks to starboard and pinches up to round the mark. Yellow heads up above close hauled to avoid blue. Should blue promptly take a penalty? Yes, blue should take a penalty. Since blue tacked from port to starboard in the zone and was fetching the mark, Rule 18.3 applies. Yellow had been on starboard since entering the zone. Blue's actions caused yellow to sail above close hauled. Therefore, blue broke rule 18.3. What should blue have done in this situation? Blue can either try to cross ahead of yellow or duck behind yellow before attacking. Here's the next example. Yellow and blue are inside the zone sailing to the windward mark. Blue crosses yellow and then tacks to starboard. Should blue promptly take a penalty? Blue is not required to take a penalty. Blue is able to cross ahead of yellow on port while keeping clear. Rule 18.3 applies after blue tacks to starboard and yellow becomes overlapped inside of blue. Blue gave yellow mark room as required by Rule 18.3. Here's example 3. Yellow and blue are inside the zone, sailing to the windward mark. Yellow is reaching into the mark. Blue tacks to starboard and rounds the mark. Yellow heads up to close hauled to avoid blue. There's no contact. 
Should blue take a penalty? Blue is not required to take a penalty. Blue tax the starboard within the zone, so Rule 18.3 applies. However, blue did not cause yellow to sail above close hauled to avoid contact, since yellow was reaching into the mark and only had to go to close hauled to avoid blue. Now let's look at Rule 18.4, which covers jibing at a mark. Take a moment to read it. The first part says, when an inside overlapped right-of-way boat must jibe at a mark to sail her proper course, until she jibes, she shall sail no farther from the mark than needed to sail that course. The picture shows an example of when Rule 18.4 applies. Yellow is inside and overlapped and is the right-of-way boat. She must jibe to sail her proper course. Yellow can make a wide and tight rounding, since that is her proper course, but she cannot head up past her proper course to force blue to do the same. The next part says that this rule does not apply at a gate mark. We'll see some examples of why shortly. Here's an example of Rule 18.4. Yellow and blue are sailing toward a leeward mark. When yellow enters the zone, blue is overlapped. Yellow sails the course shown. Blue protests yellow. Should yellow take a penalty? Yes, yellow should take a penalty. Yellow was the inside overlap boat and needed to jive to sail her proper course to the mark. Therefore, Rule 18.4 applies. Yellow is required to sail no further than her proper course before jiving. Since yellow sailed further than necessary before jiving, she broke Rule 18.4. How far could yellow sail before jiving and comply with Rule 18.4? The answer is that yellow could sail to the ley line, but not beyond it. The ley lines are shown in the diagram. Just as a reminder, the ley line for a boat sailing downwind is the line you would sail to fetch the mark and get to it in the least possible time. The ley lines will be different for different boats, and thus their proper courses might be different as well. Here's the last example. Four boats are sailing downwind towards a gate. Can yellow sail to the far gate, that is the left gate, looking from above, even if green wants to go to the right gate? Yes, yellow can sail to the left gate, since yellow has right-of-way as the leeward boat, and Rule 18.4 does not apply at a gate mark. If Rule 18.4 were to apply at a gate mark, yellow could make it very difficult for green to choose the correct gate, or the right gate in this case if she wanted to, which could give yellow an unfair advantage. Can blue sail to the right-hand gate, even if gray wants to go to the left gate? Yes, blue can sail to the right-hand gate, since she has the right-of-way over gray as a leeward boat, and Rule 18.4 does not apply at a gate mark. Can yellow sail to the left gate even if blue wants to go to the right gate? The answer is yes, yellow can sail to the left gate since yellow has right-of-way as the starboard tack boat. These scenarios show why Rule 18.4 doesn't apply at a gate. Besides providing some unfair advantages, applying Rule 18.4 at a gate would force each boat to decide well in advance which gate they were going to and communicate that to the boats around. This would be too complicated. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.